Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. Welcome to Madden 18 on EA Sports. It's a fresh start throughout the league here in week one as these two teams have high hopes for the season ahead. It's... Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. This is Madden 18 on EA Sports. Opening week in the NFL is an exciting time for everybody, including these two teams here today. It's the Raiders going up against the Browns. Just off the shores of Lake Erie, we are at First Energy Stadium in a city aptly named after its founder, Moses Cleveland, way back in 1796. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Oakland Raiders and the Cleveland Browns. They go play action. 
action here on first down. He finds Malcolm Mitchell here. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. That one goes for 24 yards. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. Room to run inside the 40. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Again, it's Foreman. He winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. I'm wondering, partner, if they might need to sub him out for a play or two because after that long run he just had on the previous play, he might not have all of his breath back. Yeah, and they went right back to that well. Different result. Foreman and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage officially no gain on the play and they're left with a third and eight they got to get it to the 21 here on third down Throwing his car on third down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamar Taylor. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. The former Gamecock here, this is Mike Davis. And he'll be knocked down sideways at the 11-yard line. And that's how you want to start a sequence defensively. That's what we used to call, partner. Hello, glad to meet you. Tagged him for a loss. Little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. They go again with Davis. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13 yard line. Give him two on that run, and they're still left looking at a third and about nine to go. shotgun Ryan and he's got his tight end in Joku big yardage there for the Browns 18 after getting that turnover on the first drive of the game you'd hate to just stall out the momentum go three and out they're able to avoid that there yeah we talk about complimentary football all the time but I think it's a little bit deeper than that defense went out forced a turnover
the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. <laughs> we appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. Here's Davis now, and he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Now Davis. And some room to run now. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there for the Browns, 15 yards. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And down he goes. Khalil Mack. Not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. And here comes play number six on this drive. They snap it at one. Now Ryan. A dump off for Davis. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll run with Davis. They're all fighting off the defender. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now Ryan. That's in Joku over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. And now the offense operates in the red zone. On the carry, it's Davis. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A gain of three, second down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit them over the top. Well, just play after play after play on this long drive for the offense. running back and he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15 yard line 
I've once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, a one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. And the play clock's running down. Caught by Nelson left side. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Jordy Nelson, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns have taken the early lead. It's up and through to make it 7-0 Browns. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now Carr throwing on second down. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. To throw on third down, Carr. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there, a 22. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. And they've got it here with a first down. him for a loss of seven. for Foreman. Call it a gain of 13 yards on the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. In today's NFL, when you get teams in long yardage situations with your defense, you're really going to go to your speed packages. You're going to get smaller, lighter guys on the field in order to cover the expected pass. So they might want to run the ball against a smaller, lighter lineup with your big guys. And that's exactly what happened on that play. It was tough on them. And now, instead of being in third and very long, they ended up setting themselves up in third and manageable. They've got a chance at a first down. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. 
They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap, good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Well, they tried the field goal from just inside at 70 yards. It missed. And now this offense set up nicely at midfield. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second down, Ryan. He's got a man. It's Corey Coleman. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now a handoff here to his running back. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Not an ideal spot to be on first down, but I love that the play caller did not immediately abandon the running game and say, okay, we've got to throw it in order to pick it up. Stayed with the run, was rewarded with a big-time pickup. Now they're in second and manageable. second down he almost had it the big D lineman nearly had an interception instead it falls down incomplete and the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. On third down, it's Davis. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Mike Davis, 27 yards. And the Browns add on to their lead. Gonzalez to add the PAT. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Car to throw on second down. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Check, 
Carr going to try and throw on third down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And he gets this away, angled for the sideline with a lot behind it. Wow. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Open now to get back in the end zone on this. possession very tough spot here for the offense to start on first and ten it's running and a reception made by Dante Moncrief and he's brought down but not before they get it across the 20 yard line 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. And to give this time to the tailback, and he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield Success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Second down, here's Ryan. Flushed out right. And he slides to avoid the hit. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And he'll give it here to his running back. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Now 
they'll throw it with Ryan. And that's caught inside the 35. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down, Pat, and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Fresh set of downs here. Now they'll run it on the toss. Room here to run. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Mike Davis already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Browns add six to their lead. And it is now 21 to nothing. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. And he will find his man on the outside. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Raider two. Eight. Eight. Check point four. Let's go. Nine. 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 On first and ten, here's Carr. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. The one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. Second down now after the incompletion. to throw again. Carr. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And now off to the races down the right side. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A big play there. 54 yards. And the Raiders get a score closer. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21-7. to Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And now the Browns coming out on the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. On 
first down, Ryan. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. But he kind of forced that one there, didn't he? It's almost like he predetermined where he was going to go with the football. Yeah, he wasn't really going through progressions. He wanted to go to his top guy. You do that against this defense, they'll make you pay, won't they? Yeah, they certainly will. They react very quickly to the thrown football. Here's Ryan. They'll set up the screen with Davis. They give him a gain of 38. As we continue to advance in the NFL, as people continue to scout players, they really don't care as much about body types as they care about those guys who can make people miss, run through tackles, and gain all that additional run after catch. Anybody who has that ability, they want them on their team. So here we go, first and 10 now. push his way forward here for a good little game. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Second down following the run. From the gun, it's Ryan. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. David and Joku as the first half is winding down. And the Browns add on to their lead. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. That all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Malcolm Mitchell in the final seconds of the first half. And the Raiders make some inroads here on that deficit. It's up and good, and it's now 28-14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And the Browns getting set to go. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee, and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've reached halftime here in our initial Sunday night telecast of the new season. As we'll send you down to Orlando, where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Bo 
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Looking to throw on second down. Ryan. And complete to Moncrief over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And now a first down following that long game. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. But a running game can really benefit your team right now. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. And to give this time to the tailback. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Ryan. And he's got Moncrief. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. First down. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20 at the 15. That'll move the sticks for the Browns. A gain of 12. Offense comes to the line now. First and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. To throw on second down. Ryan. 
And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Corey Coleman from 13 yard town. And the Browns add six to their lead. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. From the gun, it's Carr. He's going to loft one deep left. He's got a man complete. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Throwing on first down is Carr. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, He's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Again, it's Carr. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. Again, they'll throw with Carr. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And here comes play number six on this drive. Snap comes at one, and it's Carr. That is caught by Mitchell for a Raider touchdown. Malcolm Mitchell, already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. 
And the Raiders get a score closer. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now a handoff here to his running back. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. is quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game. The effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage. I really liked what he did there. Second down following the run. And he'll give it here to his running back. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11-yard pickup. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. As they run left side. And he might have got this across midfield, not by much. They'll mark it down at the 49. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. See if they stay on the ground for second down. connection as it falls incomplete he was trying to get it to his tight end David Njoku and it's third down And here comes play number six on this drive. On third down, Ryan. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Here's Britton Colquitt now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Uh -huh. 
And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't score board watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. No gain on the play there. Second down. <laughs> Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Man complete over the middle. It's Mitchell. The 40. The 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. Malcolm Mitchell with now three week one touchdowns. And the Raiders are back within a score. Brenza now for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Here comes the Browns offense back onto the field. Now, the previous drive they punted, but that was just the first time they've had to do so in this game. And when they turn on the game film, the coaches will rant about this, right? They'll say, oh, God, we got to move the ball, guys. We can't punt the ball away. But they have to keep smiles off their faces because that's the first time in the game they've had to do so. They've moved it quite well. They'll overall be happy with what they've seen. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here he's one that has to absorb the contact and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. The Browns on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and eight. From the shotgun, Ryan. back with one complete and they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45 a pickup of 24 on the third down conversion play clock and maybe a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down
Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. Over the middle, the catch by Coleman. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. What an opening weekend it's been already. Could the best finish be coming here on Sunday night? We'll find out as we come up on a first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. shift together here from the D-line. And to give this time to the tailback. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. The Browns on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This will be third and six. From the gun, Ryan. Moncrief brings it in. And they do get him down, but not before he reaches the four-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. From the four-yard line, it's first and goal now. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Second and goal from the two-yard line. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Oh, long drive. The defense just cannot seem to catch a break and get off the field. Davis and not going to be able to push this forward he runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage there are certain drives in a game where anything less than a touchdown that caps it feels like an absolute disappointment this is one of those drives A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. 
They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. They come out here in the eye. Play clock winding down. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. And yeah, that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to perhaps salt this one away. And Gonzalez puts this one through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So a big one there is that gives them a little cushion. And you know, here in the fourth quarter, the fact that they were able to bleed some time off the clock and put points on the board, even if it's only three, that could turn out to be the drive that ultimately wins them the game. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you, know, you sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. Flush to his right. And now the ball's out. Carr lost it. Fumble. And this is picked up by the Browns. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. And he cuts it right. And they'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Mike Davis with now three week one touchdowns. And the forced fumble defensively leads to six points for the Browns. And that'll make this a three score game as the lead moves to 17. Gonzalez now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Raiders. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. You like that, don't you? All game long, they struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. They run again with Foreman. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll be a loss of a yard. And that's going to lead to a third down. Here's Foreman. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. 
It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. Mm -hmm. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. Here's Marquette King now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. Defensively, there's still three timeouts. I, do you even need to use them at this point? I think a lot of coaches do it anyway, and it seems like cosmetics to us. Does it just send a message you're not quitting? Send a message that you're not quitting. Let your team know you're going to battle all the way. And you're always hoping for that ultimate miracle that something will happen. You'll pick up the ball and score, and you'll have a chance one more time and maybe on an onside kick, but not likely. And partner, this first week, this first game that we get to call together, so special every year, week one. You had the fly over the big American flag out there before the game, all the hoopla, just having football back, so special. It is an opening day, opening game. There's just nothing like it because you really build to a crescendo. But the best part for us is that crescendo lasts for a while opening game here an entire season we get into the playoffs to the super bowl i was really excited i could barely sleep last night i can't imagine being a player so for cleveland they start the campaign with a victory in front of an enthusiastic home crowd for a sunday night and they'll get to stay put for a few days as they'll host the arizona cardinals next week meanwhile for the raiders they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Indianapolis to take on the Colts. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Browns, and they're happy in the dog pound as we say so long from Cleveland.